Hello and welcome to another update video about DOT. So Polkadot is still likely moving up in this third wave that also aligns with the micro structures that we discussed in previous videos. So here on the larger time frame, I'm still tracking an ABC structure primarily to the upside where we rallied between the yeah, October lows here in an A wave to the March highs that was last year. And then well, this <laughs> last year October, this year March, then a B wave pullback. And now we could be in a C wave to the upside, which I'm tracking as a five wave pattern. One, two, three, four, five. There should be another four, five pattern, but wave three is likely still unfolding. And as per the last update, find it quite likely that we touch 1238, for example, before starting that wave four. Should the wave four start a little earlier and it's already due, it's just that the microstructure certainly still allows for a little bit more upside, but if the um, third wave is still unfolding, then yeah, 1238 could be the next target. But if the fourth wave has started already, then you could already pay attention to the support zone, which is already measured appropriately. So it's between 555 and 840. What we don't want at this stage to keep the overall uptrend alive is a break below 555. So the trend is up uh, without a doubt on a smaller time frame. But we have to be very careful that once we reach this blue zone, a major top could form, but I would still like to see another four five pattern. So the risk becomes very high once we get all five waves in wave C complete. Okay, it could be part of the yellow scenario. In the yellow scenario, we're tracking waves one, two, three, four, five. So after that top, and until then they move together, but after that top, we could get a higher low in wave four and a higher high in wave five. So yeah, pay very much, uh, please pay very much attention to this area then um, I think we could easily get into the $20 region, but um, it takes, yeah, it takes pretty much a break above $30.40, which is the top of the resistance area to make the white scenario less likely in favor of the yellow scenario, which is more bullish, but the invalidation point of the white scenario is the all time high. So it's very important to understand. It could technically go all the way up to the all time high in the white count, which is, just, you know, I'm still, I'm tracking an uptrend. I don't care at the moment if it's the white count or the yellow count. I'm caring about, you know, uh, reward and risk. And the reward to risk profile down here was much better than it is up there. Okay, can tell you that. Um, even if it pushes any higher, you know, there's only a four or five pattern to come then. So that's what I'm tracking on the larger time frame. Looking at the smaller time frame here on the dot chart. Um, Looking at polka dot. So yeah, um, looking at the shorter time frame, I provided a micro support region recently. This is all part of that larger third wave. What we can do is also to add this blue resistance or let's say target zone to the smaller time frame chart. So you have a better overview of where things could be going here. So this is the level at around that 1230 mark. And it seems like we're getting there, you know, at least one more high. Um, I mentioned in the last video, maybe we get another higher low and another higher high, but that's not guaranteed. And I mean, nothing is ever guaranteed in these markets, but I can tell you that should we push any higher. So that means above the 24th of November high, I will adjust the micro support area here higher with the price for circle wave four. But there is no sign at this stage that circle wave four has started. Actually, it's even reversed in the micro support area. Plenty of Plenty of small setups. People are asking me, you know, is it too late to enter or, you know, any setups? And they are there every single day at the moment. We have we have even just small pullbacks, right? But they can be used because, as you can see, a stop below the 50% FIP level um, would have been a good choice in this case, yeah, below the support area, because that's the key level below which probabilities start to shift and that we're in a larger correction. Um, so at the moment, yeah, we're still pushing higher, but I'd like to see this move to 1230 ideally before circle wave four starts. Maybe we even get another four or five, but I mean, these, these third waves have extended uh, really in crazy ways across some other altcoin um, charts. But for now, we'll see if we can get to that blue target zone first. And 749 at the moment remains the first key support of that micro support area there. That's the update about uh, DOT. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. 
for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.